We're seriously understaffed. Oh, yeah. It'd be great if we had a Hulk right about now. Any shot? You really think he'd be on our side? No. I have an idea. Me too. Where's yours? Downstairs. Where's yours? Why are you doing this? I gotta know what's your MO? What gets you out of that twin bed in the morning? Because I've been me my whole life. And I've had these powers for six months. Oh! Woo! Everybody I read good? books, I build computers. And yeah, I would love to play football. But I, I couldn't then, so I shouldn't now. Sure, because you're different. Exactly. And I can't tell anybody that, so I'm not. Under Roos! Good job, kid. Mr. Stark, it's, it's perfect, thank you. Yeah, we don't really it's, need to start a conversation. Okay. Hey, everyone. Good job. Yes. Don't do anything I would do. Treaty rules protocol. Turn it off. And definitely don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye. You're gonna call me. Incoming call from Tony Stark. No, 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 no. Don't answer. Mr. Parker, what were you thinking? The guy with the wings is obviously the source of the weapons. I gotta take him down. Take him down now, huh? Anyway, Mr. Stark, you didn't have to come all the way out here. I, I had that. I was fine. Hey. Oh, I'm not. Here. Look, forget the flying vulture guy, please. Why? Yes, why? Because I said so. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? But I'm ready for more than that now. No, you're not. I, I don't need to go to cut Mr. Mr. Stark. Stark is no longer connected. That's awesome. My dad never really gave me a lot of support and I'm just trying to uh, break the cycle of shame. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something right Don't now. Don't cut me off when I'm complimenting you. Previously on Peter Screws the Pooch, I tell you to stay away from this. Instead, you hacked a multi-million dollar suit so you could sneak around behind my back doing the one thing I told you not to do. Is everyone okay? No thanks to you. No thanks to me? Hi, Spider-Man. Those weapons were out there, and I tried to tell you about it, but you didn't listen. None of this would have happened if you had just listened to me! Cut the bullshit. <laughs> if you even cared, you'd actually be here. I did listen, kid. That's not fine. Peter, you have to tell me what's going on. Just lay it out. It's just me and you. Do you know that I was the only one um, who believed in you? Everyone else said I was crazy to recruit a 14-year-old kid. 15. No, this is where you zip it, all right? The adult is talking. Lost a Stark internship. What? Yeah. What happened? What if somebody had died tonight? Different story, right? Because that's on you. And if you died, I feel like that's on me. <gasps> I don't need that on my conscience. I just thought that I could work really hard and he could, he would, you know, but... Screw it up. Look enough, I'm gonna need two back. For how long? Please. Forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's No, no, works. no, please, please, please. Mr. Let's Stark, have it. You don't understand. This, this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Okay. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. Hey, Happy. What, uh, what are you doing here? I really owe you one. Boss wants to see you. In the toilet? No, he's upstate. Upstate? Like upstate upstate? Yeah, let's go. Oh, there they are. Post right up. Good? Give me a minute with the kid. Seriously? Yeah. Mr. Stark, I'm You screwed really... the pooch hard, big time. But then you did the right thing. 
Sorry I took your seat. I mean, you had it coming. Actually, it turns out it was the perfect sort of tough love moment that you needed, right, to urge you on, right? Wouldn't you think? Is that what think? Yeah. Let's just say it was. What's wrong with that, Chief? I think with a little more mentoring, it could be a real asset to the team. To the, to, to the team? When you're ready, why don't you try that on? And I'll introduce the world to the newest official member of the Avengers, Spider-Man. Thank you, Mr. Stark. But I'm, I'm good. How are you good? Well, I, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'd rather just stay on the ground. Build up your game helping the little people. Like that lady that bunch of the churro. Somebody's got to look after the little guy, right? You're turning me down? You better think about this. Look at that. Look at me. Last chance, yes or no? No. Okay. It's kind of a Springsteen-y, working-class hero vibe that I dig. Uh, happy we'll take you home. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Sorry. Yes, Mr. Parker. Very well. See you around. Okay. Told you he's a good kid. Hey, man. What's up, Mr. Stark? Kid, where'd you come from? The field trip. You know this guy's problem, Mr. Stark. Uh, he's from space. He came here to steal a necklace from a wizard. <laughs> That's the wizard. Get on it. On it! Um, Stark, I'm being beamed up. Give me a little juice, Friday. Pete, you gotta let go. I'm gonna catch you. We're too high up. You're running out of air. Happy trails, kid. Friday, send him home. Yep. Oh, come on! What the... I know what you're gonna say. You should not be here. And this suit is ridiculously intuitive, by the way, so if anything, it's kind of your fault that I'm here. What did I, you just say? I, I take that back. And and now I'm here in space. Yeah, right where I didn't want you to be. This isn't Coney Island, it's a field trip. This is a one-way ticket. You can't be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man if there's no neighborhood. Okay, that didn't really make sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm back up. No, you're still away. The adults are talking. I'm sorry, I, I'm confused as to the relationship here. What, what, what is he, your lord? Kid? No. You're an adventure now. Get your hand inside the steering gimbal. Close those around it. Okay. You understand? Yeah, this is meant for it, one it, big it. guy, so we got to move at the same time. Okay, okay, ready? We might uh, want to turn, 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 turn! <sighs> Right. That was close. Let me just say, if aliens wind up implanting eggs in my chest or something and I eat one of you, I'm sorry. I do not want another single pop culture reference out of you for the rest of the trip, you understand? Did you ever see this really old movie, Aliens? I'm trying to say that something is coming. Yeah, but the kids see more movies. I swear to you, I'm gonna french fry this little freak. Let's do it! You shoot my guy and I'll blast him! Let's go! Who are you? You're the Avengers, man. Parker, help! Get over here. She can't hold much longer. Let's go. Something's happening. Look, when you can do the things that I can, but you don't. Is it start? I don't feel so good. And then the bad things happen. You're all right. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. They happen because of you. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please, please. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Yes, sir. I'm yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It doesn't. Matter. I understand. Sir. Last night, I dreamt we had a kid. So real. I had a dream about it. It was so real. If you wanted to have a kid, you wouldn't have done that. I'm just trying to protect us. Tony, there was no other way. Hey, mate. How you doing? What are you wearing? Something skimpy, I hope. <laughs> 
Okay, that's inappropriate. All right, let's start over. You can edit it. Couldn't stop him. Neither could I. I lost the kid. Tony, we lost. I said we'd lose. You said we'll do that together too. And guess what, Cap? We lost. And you weren't there. I know you got a lot on the line. You got a wife, a daughter. But I lost someone very important to me. A lot of people did. And now, now, we have a chance to bring her back. To bring everyone back. And you're telling me that you won't even... That's right, Scott. I won't. I can't. Figured it out. By the way. And, you know, just so we're talking about the same thing. Time travel. What? That's... Amazing and terrifying. Hey! Oh. Oh. Holy cow! You will not believe what's been going on. Do you remember when we were in space? And I got all dusty, and I must have passed out because I woke up and you were gone, but Dr. Strange was there, right? And he was like, it's been five years, come on, they need us. And then he started doing the yellow sparkly thing that he does all the time. What are you doing? That's not a hug, I'm just grabbing the door for you. We're not, we're not there yet. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> this is Stark. Hey. This is Stark. Can you hear me? It's Peter. Hey, uh, I'm 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 Peter. Tony. We won. This is Stark. We won, Mr. Stark. We won. You did it, sir. You did it. I'm sorry. Tony. Sean Winfield, Queen's Tribune. What is it like to take over from Tony Stark? Those are some big shoes to fill. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go. Thanks so much, everyone, for coming. You're in dire need of an upgrade. Systemic, top to bottom. 100 point restoration, that's why I'm here. Yeah, give that a look. No, no, no. Stark left these for you. Really? Edith stands for Even Dead, I'm the Hero. Tony loved his acronyms. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Stark said you wouldn't get that because it's not a Star Wars reference. <laughs> so he made you for me? No, but you have access to all of Tony's protocols. Cool. Stark gave you a multi-billion dollar AR tactical intelligence system, and the first thing you do with it is try to blow up your friend. It's clear to me that you were not ready for this. Stark chose you. He made you an Avenger. I need that. The world needs that. Maybe Stark was wrong. Was he? The choice is yours. Oh my god. Happy. Relax. Don't tell him to relax, Happy. How can I relax when I messed up so bad? I trusted Beck, right? I thought he was my friend, so I gave him the only thing that Mr. Stark left behind for me, and now he's gonna kill my friends in half of Europe, so please, do not tell me to relax. I'm sorry, Happy. I'm sorry I should shout. I just really miss him. 
I miss him too. Everywhere I go, I see his face. And the whole world is asking who's going to be the next Iron Man. The next Tony Stark, I trust you. I don't know if that's me happy. I'm not Iron Man. I just, I just want him to be like you. You're not Iron Man. You're never going to be Iron Man. Nobody could live up to Tony. Not even Tony. And I wanted you to be better. Tony was my best friend. And he was a mess. He second-guessed everything he did. He was all over the place. The one thing that he did that he didn't second-guess was picking you. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. <laughs>